Welcome back. Welcome back. Back in the building. Smoking sports back in the building, baby. A lot to talk about. A lot of things transpired this week. (laughs) Eastern blows it again, bro. (laughs) They blow it again in the last 30 seconds of the game, bro. I just can't believe what I be seeing, bro. He pulled off a Greg Williams, bro. He sent everybody? Cover one for the game. <laughs> for the game, for the game went to four and two. The people on the 30 yard line with a minute left. Instead of you just playing to win the game, you played to stop them from getting the first down. Cup put three wide receivers over here and one wide receiver over there. Throw the bomb up. The dude catch the bomb and they win the game. But before that, Easton was up by four or whatever, six or whatever it was, and Easton scored. They called holding. It wasn't a holding. The dude scored. It was the game. Dude broke it, the run. They called it back. I see. I, 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 I heard some shit like that, like the refs played a part in the game this time, but you know what I mean. The refs happened. played a part, but they're steadily doing the same thing. They beat and caught the whole game up by 10, 11 points and shit. But they're not trying to win the game. All they were trying to do was stay in the game. They running the ball and shit. Instead of trying to score, they were just trying to get out the game. And they got a good time to team, bro. That, that, that. Yeah, man. I was, that, that, bro. I was gone. I it wanted hurt to be me. at that game, man. It hurt you me. went, huh? Yeah, I went. They're they going to meet again in the playoffs or they're going to meet again in the dome. But, you know... Why well, I ain't gonna say the dumb, cause boy, look, never. I I already did my homework, watched them and everything. Never serious. They coming back to take what's theirs too. <laughs> so they, uh, that's who they gotta worry about. Whoever they don't want to be on the side with never. You might not go to the dome. None of them. None of them. You be on that side with never. You ain't going to the dome. Call can't be in. And Carl Run, since I've been watching them, they never beat never when never had a good quarterback. When they got a quarterback that can run all this shit, you ain't going to beat them, though. You hear me? But now see Carl come with a different game plan against them now. They spread them out and throw that bitch all over the field on them, you know, and don't be trying to, like, play into their game. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna just give it to Neville like that, but from experience, from watching them, every time they have a good quarterback, they be hard to beat, bro. It, that's why they ain't been winning the, these last couple of years. Their quarterback been holding them back. Speaking of quarterback, huh? Um, man and them little nephew on, was on TV tonight, huh? Arch, Arch Manning. Arch Manning. Six five, <coughs> slaying it. I'm not sure what the final school ended up being. <laughs> <laughs> we glue up, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah, Arch Man doing his thing, new bro. Newman, man. Getting a lot of uh, attention over that at Newman, Except you know. He cold, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta, I gotta get to one of his games, too, before he, before he get up out of here. And I know it's crazy to say, but, like, he better than both of them. He better man, than Man, come on, man. Yeah, look, no, look, I'm talking about where he at right now. Not saying he's going to be, but just get what I'm saying, bro. Listen, one of them, one of them said it, the grandpa would have, listen, brother, this little dude, he. Man, it don't matter who in the family listen, sees some listen, shit. No, listen, brother, know what he got over there? Know what he got over them? He could run. And then. He got what he got what they didn't have. Them. He got them too. That's a good point. You see what I'm saying? That's he got what they didn't me. have. They didn't have an uncle. They, they didn't have two uncles that was Hall of Fame quarterbacks. They, had, those they had a, a they had an NFL quarterback. Yeah, they had their daddy running Wildcat. Man, it don't matter, man. You had an NFL. You had the means to be good. Listen, brother. They ain't had this. Yeah. He ain't had this. 
Yeah, he had it. That, he had and, this. And At he, that time, he had look, more than this. He could move. See what I'm saying? He could move. Man, that shouldn't have came out your mouth. Yeah, though. At this age, he's better than what Peyton and Eli was in high wow. school. How can you say that? In high school, he's better. I seen them both. I seen him and Eli. I ain't see Peyton. He better than what Eli was at Newman. He is. He's ranked the number one quarterback in the country, not because he a man in because he cold as a motherfucker. Oh, not because he a man in the Fuck no. I think that could be discussed. Yeah, I'm telling you, though. <laughs> at first, I said. I'm just saying, he I, may be I, the best. He I may be one of the best. Thing. I was saying the he same a man thing in about him. If he the 10th best quarterback in the country, he a man in, he probably going to go number. He probably be number one. I mean, he a man in. And he good. So, the, I'm not sure. I got to see much more. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, and he had Newman, you know. Not saying Newman, you can't do it from Newman, right, but, but he ain't playing nobody. He ain't playing nobody, you know what I'm saying? We know that from the end, no. Mm-hmm. But hey, I know the little dude ball. Like tonight, they playing but Saint Charles Catholic. Ain't no way you can see. You talking about big head, man? He was better than them in high school. So them, this dude, he fucking it up. He playing the same schedule Peyton played. The same thing they played. Same district. Some shit didn't change. A little bit didn't change. Because I think, I forgot New McMahon. And I think there was New McMahon that was going against Corn and all that and shit. He ain't going nowhere near Baton Rouge. So they can wrap that up. Yeah, man, don't, no, don't fuck with LSU. Don't fuck with LSU at all. He, is, uh, he ain't going on a visit. What is it? Old Miss? Yeah, Old Miss. Old Miss or uh, something else. I mean, whatever their reasons were sending Peyton to Tennessee, mm-hmm. I don't think it was like right. we sending everybody to Tennessee. Well, Eli chose where his daddy went. Peyton yeah. chose that man, that offense dude. Yeah. Cut clip, whatever his name is, <laughs> that quarterback coach. That's, That's why he crazy. went to Tennessee. And dude just not not going to LSU. No. Ain't happening. He ain't going to even go on to visit the LSU. That's crazy. I wonder what's the backstory on that, man. Oh, Miss, don't fuck with LSU. That's our real rivalry. It's from 1910. So that just cut that deep. Big that, Arch ain't letting that yeah, slide. Yeah. We ain't going to. <laughs> we ain't, so nobody, and nobody in this bitch going to LSU. No, no. That's stamp. Nobody <laughs> with my name going Nuh-uh. to LSU. We ain't, we ain't doing that. You go look everywhere else. You ain't going Where Big Archie from? Mississippi. You from Mississippi yeah, somewhere right there. that's where they from, right there. Oxford, Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi, yeah, yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, that's where they from. You know, Peyton them grew up uptown right now, uh, first in Britannia. You go past their house up right now. Mm-hmm. Peyton, I'll tell you quick, he from uptown. For real. Big kid. I don't know if there'll be a better quarterback than Peyton Manning, bro. As far as, like, looking I'm like afraid. it. I mean, time to go, but looking like a quarterback, like you know what I'm saying? Just what you want in a quarterback, you going to see Pete. You know, man. Pete Manning got everything you besides the running and shit, like this new shit. Man, to see, that what he but, could do. That a nigga run like a 4-5. He, 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 he could check out. He play basketball. He dunking that bitch and everything. Man. He look like a little Josh Allen or something right now. I mean, exactly. I, he I look mean, just I like him. that. He look just like that. that big bro. old white boy. You big, know. too. I fucks with him. But um local scene. I don't know ain't too much going on. Basketball Carver about to get still back going. No Carver play Eastern Saturday. Carver so play Eastern be, Saturday? That's gonna be I mean Friday, I think. That's gonna be for the district title, basically. Because Kennedy can't win the district and them other people can't win the district. I might have to go fuck with MLK. that. MLK. Carver Eastern, man, I gotta get to these games, bro. Oh, four oh, and three. It's looking bad. Yeah, it's looking bad, bro. They started off hurting. That shit, could, it can hurt. Yeah. Some of the main players, I know that. But from what I was told, those St. Dog loaded young. The 8th, yeah, ninth grade. Young. They loaded young. 10th grade, they good. LeJohn and all them over there. LeJohn them over there. Chad Jones, son, and all them. A few, few people. But, um, I guess that's... A bit of local, local. Um, got too much more to. Uh, Not basketball about to start local. Yeah, practice just started for an hour. 
high school shit. You know what I'm saying? Little tournaments will be next next month. We got Bronny coming down here. LeBron son playing Lockett. The Chris Lockett at noon, and they think they're playing at the Smoothie King Center yeah, in January. I'll be in there. Yeah, I'll be in there for sure. I'll be in there for the fact. For sure, for sure. For sure. You dig? That's uh, and Brian it's on son. ESPN or something, yeah. I think, too. Two Ooh, ranked. Nice. I think Newman got two ranked players, Lockett and another cat. You know, Sierra Cannon, or they loaded. I just saw them in Miami. They three Bears. best players wasn't even playing, right. and they still loaded. Scotty Pippen, so he ain't even touched the flow, really. Some, but the other son, though? The, the other? younger son. He must be young. Preston he might be 19 grade. Yeah, Preston Pippen, then. Yeah. Because you know he got the one at Vanderbilt. Yeah. Scotty Jr. He, uh, he got in and did his thing right quick, but they ain't played much. They got too much talent over there. But, um... Tampa. Tampa. Oh, we, huh? What you about to say? Tampa win again. Tampa won tonight. Tampa won again, man. Tampa in Philly. Again. In Philly, but I, I, I'm fucking with Hurts. I'm fucking with Jalen Hurts, bro. Hurts Her, like ain't looking good, bro. I, like I ain't Hurts. lying. I wouldn't be surprised Hurts out of that this year. He you barely making it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got no good percentage. Right. Yeah, but they fuck. Hard, like <clears throat> hey. That, you gotta put people by, people uh, around that dude, man. Yeah, they don't have no. You know. What spectacular receivers he got? I mean. He got some what receivers. Back? What, you know? He got oh, Miles. Miles Sanders. They, Miles Sanders. I think they straight, bro. They I mean. got weapons, too. I think it's his play. He can play better, to be real. I think he can play better. My, and they can call uh, better Hill. shit. He can play better. I mean, he made shit happen with his feet again tonight. The crazy part, they covered going for this fucking two-point conversion. <laughs> they covered, but it was down 14 in the fourth. They scored, and they went for two. I mean, I don't see the Love. the analytics in that, you know. They went for two, and got, got it, it, and now they was down six, getting six and a half. And it crazy part time them got all the way to the two and nailed that bitch. So Philly still covered. They could have gotten the end zone. They got that right before the two minute warning too. And Philly was out of timeouts. I had Philly tonight too. No, I just so, think you know, piss. Niggas was pissy at Tampa. I was on the other side tonight in Philly. I like the Philly. I, ain't no, uh, I still think I ain't sold on Brady and them repeating, though. I ain't sold man, on Man, it's the NFL, man. How many teams repeated? Right. <laughs> that was what I'm saying. It's hard to repeat. That ain't, it's not it's like it's going to be a surprise if they don't repeat. Fuck no, man. They got, it's the NFL. Football is hard. Shit hard, man. But uh, I thought Philly was gonna fight tonight, man. I think I felt like they was gonna fight. Bro. Tampa really, Tampa really could have beat him by two, three touchdowns. Yeah. It was two, three plays that they could have punted it. It went far on four, didn't get it. That's how Philly come down and scoring good down by two, by six. They tried to end the game with the first down with like eight minutes left or something. Off, yeah, like eight minutes left. But uh, Antonio Brown cut up. <laughs> Antonio Brown still better than all man, these dudes. Man, Antonio Brown, bro, he the truth, bro. Yes, indeed. He the truth. Yes, indeed. 81, man. I think he had two touchdowns. He had two touchdowns tonight. If he ain't had two touchdowns, he had one touchdown and maybe three, four huge plays in right. that, that last drive for sure. Antonio it's, Brown, the beast, though. What type of deal you last week, I though? fell to you. How you just going to come see, you know, certain dudes better than this dude? That nigga. Hey, be that guy, <coughs> bro. He can still be the number one anywhere. Anywhere. Nigga talking about Devontae Adams better than that dude. Hey, you out your motherfucking mind. I ain't going to lie. I can't, I can't say he. Niggas not better than Devontae Adams. I'm going to let you know that. Niggas, that mean everybody. He can't get out of there, bro. He don't got that speed. Huh? He don't check out. 
He run what them that mean? He got Aaron Rodgers, bro. He go with this. You got to be 4-3 bullshit and Listen, all that brother. dumb ass shit. Like, Listen, every brother. week they know the ball going to him. Dog. And he ain't got Devontae Aaron. is that nigga, He got man. Aaron Rodgers, bro. Bro, every week you know the ball going you, what you that know mean? the ball going to him. You right. You know, it's no questions about where the ball going. Man, you're not, you, you're not, you, you, you can't fuck with Devontae, bro. I can't hate on him, brother. Bro, every but look, week they know the ball going. All I'm saying is, I, he ain't better than Brown. I'm not saying nobody better than Devontae. All the person, I'm a, I mean, you know, of course, um, Hopkins, but I'm not going to say none of them better than each other, like. Hopkins 1A, Devontae 1A, you know, all these niggas. Tony Brown, all these niggas can see they the best in the league. Julio. You right. You know, they Bro, all can see that. The teams they um, compare to, you know, like the teams and the weapons and stuff. Right. You know the ball going to ask. Yeah. Like, you know that. No questions about that. They ain't got really nowhere else for the ball to go. And he's still making it happen. Yeah, he making it happen, bro. Yeah, he the certified number one. You know, even though Arizona got weapons, not A.J. Green well, still, and shit. I still don't think but Hopkins he, been he's in that better position than too. our number one. I don't think he better than Mike. He better than Mike. I don't think he better than Mike. I say he a smidgen better than Mike because he just... He got, I feel like he got more speed. He a little bit more elusive than Mike, you know? He'll make more happen than Mike. He could do a little bit more than Mike, like could, with screens he, and... Devontae, a, a dog, bro. <laughs> Mike I'm got lying. these hands. Yeah, Devontae yeah. got these yeah, hands. Mike got, the, the Mike got these hands. The Mike a little bit more. What I say, more. It don't. It's not as flashy as Devontae it's game, it. but it's just as consistent and important and Good impact man. everything. But Devontae oh, like that. Devontae like that for sure. But Tampa, Tampa won the night. Tampa uh, ended up beating the piss out of Miami last week. Took off on them. I done heard they talking about they should get rid of Xavier Howard, all these niggas who was, uh, <laughs> who was in a defensive player of the year category. category. Niggas been torching him, they see, this Torture. year. You feel me? But, um, well, we get on last year. Well, last week, what happened? That was That was crazy. That uh, game with Cleveland in San Diego. What what a fucking game, 47, man. 47, 47 42. Yeah. <coughs> Just bucket for bucket. That was some basketball shit right there. Right. And no doubt on the touch the ball three times. Yeah. And yeah. they scored 47 points. I could see some shaking with Odell. I feel like Odell could get up out of there. I feel like they can use him, though. If he stay there, he, it's, it's a plus. But... If they not going to use him like that. Uh, and they got three more days to trade deadline. They talked about that today. Yeah, I saw that. Everybody mean. think he going to get moved. Mm-hmm. Send him down here. Send him to the N.O. Sean Payton to make sure you. I heard Green Bay. Um, oh, we can't go to Green Bay. Right, I heard Green Bay. Got to make Aaron Rodgers think about it. Yeah, and I he heard. He probably uh, chill. He probably chill. Send that ride to the AFC, man. Go to Pittsburgh. Because that's how you lie. That's one nigga you don't want to see in the playoffs, boy. I don't give a fuck what he got. I don't give a fuck what y'all got. You already know he probably about to come sling this bitch. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> For bro. sure. Yeah, bro. He brother. is about to come sling it. You're not safe at all. Like, no. Aaron Rodgers, bitch. I be spooking. Oh, him and Russell Wilson. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like the bet against them dudes, Yeah, bro. fuck no. Mm-mm. It should, might be a better bet out there, for sure, going against them niggas. It might be a better bet out yeah, there. Yeah, you got to think about that, for sure. But um, wherever Odell go, I think he'll help their team, you know. Send them to the Saints, dude, man. Bring them back home. And Kansas City lost, right? Kansas City lost to uh, Buffalo. Yeah. That was one of your locks. Right. They can't beat them and all that. I, mm-hmm. That wasn't what I was seeing. The Buffalo looked the better, to, uh, looked like the better team before that game. You was right, brother. At D, at D top of the line, your dog. And you and you I on like Tredavious White. You been on him, been loving him, 
and you, you you don't be thinking about it at times, man. Mm-hmm. It's hard to score on them people, man. Right. Hard to score on the people, then they hard to stop. And that boy was ever where Tyreek Hill went. To David White. I was in the airport watching that game. I couldn't even have the fucking delay and shit. The halftime, they ain't come back to like an hour later. They had the delay, yeah. It was like 38 minutes or something. Yeah, something crazy, man. I felt like Buffalo was going to... I bet with Buffalo, too. I feel like Buffalo was going to have a little better. Yeah. I feel like, dude, with KC... Yeah, I think... This the KC y'all really don't want, bro. Y'all don't want that KC who going to creep in the playoffs. And get mad and, 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 and get good at the end of the season. Because that's usually what they've been doing. I ain't going to say that what they've been doing. Because last year I felt like they were so hurt. Line was so hurt. They was getting a little worse towards the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? And just right. living off of, you know, badly beating people all last year. This the year, though. They're they going to go through their trials and tribulations early. See about week nine? <laughs> I guarantee you. Week 10, week 11, they're going to look back week 17. Yeah, Kansas City won the last seven, eight games. By 10 they got the whatever seed, the and they're going to be the scariest team in the AFC. See. You ain't going to want to play them. You know that? For sure. I don't see Pat Mahomes and... Tyron Matthew, them not getting it together. They just got the worst D right now. But that shit you can work on, especially if you got Pat Jones Mahomes over there. Chris Jones That's their D tackle. That shit matter. He the second best in the league behind Donald. He got the money. Mm-hmm. They paid him first. Before so, they paid Mahomes, them, they paid him. Well, think about it. They D just got to get a little bit better. Fuck, they got Patrick Mahomes. They going to be scoring this bitch, Period. With me, you, and, and Nesto at receiver, we're going we to get some points. <laughs> For sure. Right now, bitch. Throw that bitch. Throw that bitch. I'm going to catch this bitch for sure. <laughs> I got the moss. <laughs> for sure. But trust me, KC going to be good later on in the season. This shit. It's yeah. early on. They're going to talk about them crazy, but they're going to be good. Now look, is the Chargers a Super Bowl contender? With yes. this, with this, with this young quarterback. Yes, 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 indeed. You, you know what? I think because they got a defense with the Bosa boy, with Bosa see, and Jameis from um, Florida yes, State. Indeed. He one of the top safeties in the league. Yes, man. They, people got a D. Right now, you know I him think and Jalen Ramsey play together. Showing, listen, this year, not not that it didn't show before mm-hmm. this year. Yeah, they four, yeah, four one. and one. They got the they biggest game lost this year. They to Dallas. They got the they got the game of the week this year. The charge the Chargers. They uh they got Baltimore. Both up four and one. It's gonna be a good game. Twelve o'clock game too. But listen to me. This year right here is showing me when they change the rules with the defense and you can't touch and all this quarterback shit and all that. I think this year is showing with like the future of it. We just saw glimpses of it, why people scoring more and all that recently in the last, because it's been about probably 10 years or something when they really been fucking with them rules where right. it's pity pat on the fucking right. defensive end. But right now with these fucking young boys who can run through, you can barely touch a quarterback, you can barely touch a receiver, all this shit, this shit is showing it right now. Just think about Deshaun Watson was playing and shit too, like, It'll be just scoring everywhere around this motherfucker, man. Justin right. Herbert, right. Josh Allen, right. all these young boys, Joe Burrow. They, you these know, young quarterbacks shining, These young bro. quarterbacks shining, bro, for real. And I just think it's a it's a big old testament to them rules changes and shit. You know, and these quarterbacks can run and all that. Man, come on, man. And they ain't got to worry about getting fucked up so it ain't fucking with their mental. Yes. Yeah, then you, you're not really getting hurt and all that. When Derek Carr came to lead, he was cold as a motherfucker, but he was getting sacked six times a game and shit. <sighs> Fucking right. He running before the ball snap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, he, he get the fuck out of here, man. It's a business decision every time he get the ball. Fucking ball, ball yeah. People coming. <laughs> then, then he had his older brother nightmares in his head. 
You know, right. his older brother got went number one. Yeah, that, that's the one. It had the most. That's the one the I was sad. talking about. Yeah. The, bro, the, the, big the big brother. brother. That's the David one I was talking about. Whatever yes. the fuck his name yes. is. Yes. David. Cole. They ran him straight into concussion land. Yeah, like, he was you the know. number one overall pick. They fucked that man. Career. Man, what? Couldn't do a three drop step. Why nigga fucking him up? <laughs> he got fucked up. He he got sacked the most times in NFL history. Yeah, him. Yep. At his rookie year, they threw him straight out there. That when the Texans was a uh, uh, expansion team. Yeah, when they first came in. And when they first came in, threw his stupid ass out there. Uh, look, now we on the people right now, right? Nah, this fucked me up. Man, John Gruden out that thing, man. John Gruden talking that gangster shit, shit. talking this racist shit or whatever. Right. You know? And from what I'm saying, it's like he been talking like this. But they got him out there once right. he hit that, that, that rainbow crowd. Right. You know, it's like, fuck, you can keep talking to these niggas, stupid, but as soon as you play with them people, you're out of here. Yeah, yeah. Fuck whatever 10 year deal you had, you won't resign. Yeah, you, won't, you might want to resign, player. Right now. Get up out of here. But that was crazy, man. John Gruden resigned just like that. Them people looking good on the, you know, on the up and up. Man. But they say he, uh, Derek Carr, like the backup, uh, the assistant coach better or some shit. Now, look, now, real talk, I really ain't he see what the man said or nothing. Only I ain't I saw, seen it yet. I saw one thing where he said something about DeMar Smith lips or some shit. Like, in New Orleans, we call that ribbon. I know. That's what I see. You know, now, I'm like, well, damn, if he did email a nigga that talking stupid about DeMar Smith, I mean, is that race? I really don't give a fuck that you talking about the man lips. And you white and he black. I don't give a fuck. Like, y'all, you ribbing to me. He give a ribbing. fuck if it's between y'all friends. That ain't that deep. Now, I don't know what else what he said and all that, you know. But I guess, you know, you're at that, that level. You can't be talking about people. and You can't be doing that. Yeah, you, you know, out of Amongst your friends and who And he the type of coach that handle motherfuckers bad. <laughs> Curse what him you out, mean? man! They say that dude treat niggas like he they kids. A lot of people ain't fuck with him. I mean, the nigga look mean as a motherfucker. Child. Yeah, what I'm talking about, he mean, bro. I mean, you know, but I fuck with Groove. When you hear him talking, the shit don't sound like that. You know, Monday Night Football shit. I fuck with Groove. I I wouldn't have thought the man was racist. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Right. I know he. I don't see how you. Nah, I don't know. But in football, you're a white man coaching football. My dude, you, I mean, it's nothing but niggas shit. 85% sure. black. It's a nigga sport. <clears throat> you know, like. Yes, indeed. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I guess you can still be a little racist and do this job. But I don't know. It's like, fuck. You know? They cover that shit up so good, brother. Yeah, it's like they're trying to hide shit from, you know, I don't know, the owner, Mark Davis. I guess he he probably saying shit on there, too. Emailing shit. And I'm like, what's wrong with these people? Josen, amongst your partners and saying some shit, you know, knowing you Josen, that's a difference when you actually didn't email the nigga a joke. Right. Or, you know, like, what the fuck? Right, white people that, shit, man. That's a crazy Punk. situation, brother. Fuck. I ain't lying, dog. You know, you know what could happen? DeMar Smith, John Gruden. Man, y'all go get it on. Fuck that. Catch one. You <laughs> feel me? Fuck it. <laughs> Them niggas old as a motherfucker. Man, what I mean? Fuck. You talking, talking that shit you feel, please? Go ahead and catch one, man. <laughs> you know? I don't know what he told the, the gay people. You know, that. You know, I don't know what he told them people, but you know, you know, you can't play with them. They coming. They come and get you, tap you on your shoulder, turn around. What's happening? They come and get you. You know, that's why it's always good to just be. You know, you ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all, bro. Yep. Yeah. You feel me? It cost you your whole fucking job just for some talk. Like this shit ain't even that serious. I mean, right. to me, it ain't the fuck. Cause his personality is. He may say something about the nigga with a limp who walking over there or something. You know, like, could be wrong, but fuck, is it that damn serious? 
right. you know, I got to I got to hear all the details. I gotta, it I, might be. I just I'm not sure. I want to see the details to Nick. Um, I want to see the details, brother. So any more last week games? That was I know that that Cleveland Chargers game was crazy. You know the Buffalo KC was you know different. But I can't see, if you was really thinking about it, I can't see that wasn't just, not expected, but you knew that was possible. Buffalo could have came and beat and them. And the people. Rams, you know, Russell Wilson out for six weeks, but that's. Hey, Russell Wilson yeah, broke Russell his Wilson finger, man. His finger. I saw that shit live. Aaron Donald. <laughs> and no. You feel me? Joe Burrow goes toe-to-toe with a Hall of Famer. Green B. His and his kicker sold him out. kicker sold him out. In, in regulation and overtime. Time. 22-25. Thought he hit that bitch from that 51. Was, that was the best game because the other game was just a shootout. This was a real football game, 25-22. Yeah. That was the best football game. Good yeah. defense was played with a little good offense, a balanced game. And here we go again, bro. Chase and caught him a 70-yarder again, bro. Chase, you know I called it, bro. I'm telling all y'all. Chase going to be the best receiver in the league. When it's all said and done, Chase gonna be one of the best ever. Dude been cold up. Dude been it all his life. Dude, See, it. Bro. he gonna be the best wide receiver in the league. It's crazy, bro, because George Jefferson was doing some crazy shit, you know, last year, and he finished, and he kept on going the whole year. Now Chase came, and my G, it's like it's only the fifth, sixth game, but man, he, I think he scored every game. Game, yeah, he. he he the only nigga scored every game. Uh, it's something Look like that. I um, think he got maybe six, seven, eight touchdowns already. I know a few of them is 50-plus yards. And, you know, he doing some more shit right now. I ain't lying. I sent it to you. He doing some more shit right now. Doing some more shit. Beating you deep, making that. And that's that's what's crazy. Over there is he a cold-blooded route runner. See that? The, cra- the, 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 the craziest thing is he could take the top off. See how John Jefferson really not taking the top, top off. off no. He, you know, John Jefferson come and slide mm-hmm. on the end, you know, getting in there, getting in these seams and shit. Jamal Chase could take the top off, and he could do all that. You know, and it's and crazy. He built, he built those he, tools. He really haven't had no crazy good game as far as, like, targets and receptions. You really, you know... Six catches, touchdown, nine yards. yards. Yeah. You know, this game. Seven catches, hundred some yards, two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Whatever stats was. Five catches, eighty three yards, a touchdown. That look bitch. You know, so- but solid ass shit with big ass touchdowns though. Shit they needed. And I don't even I don't know if T. Higgins played that game. T. Higgins played. He played, I think he was out the game before that or something. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati, bro. I'm they got in the playoffs, you know, I think. We, I, we've been screaming Cincinnati. I don't Cincinnati. think you can keep that talent out the playoffs. Yeah, they better than Pittsburgh. It's just they Pittsburgh, too. I don't even know if I, I won't say that. Because I, I fucks with Mike Tomlin, though. He don't get that respect. He a black boy out there in Pittsburgh, still coaching. Cincinnati going to the playoffs. You feel me? I feel like Cincinnati going too. You got Lamar, Lamar looking like he trying to go to the bowl. That was the game right there. That's the fucking game. Now, that was the game of the week. I know you just said Green Bay, but no. That fucking Lamar, bro. Man, that ball was down 16 in the fourth quarter, bro. Threw for 437 yards most is ever in his career. He had like an 86%. Um... Uh, Completion rate he threw the bitch like forty sometimes with the eighty six percent. That nigga went off. Lamar had over I watched that bitch. Yards offense. He had like four. Yeah, four thirty four or some passing. passing and sixty nine yards rushing. Come on, man. Yeah, that threw, dude. He beat I him think by he himself. He threw for three. He threw for three. I think he had four touchdowns. All right, he threw for four. I think he threw four touchdowns. Yep, yeah, because I. And dog Hollywood. Hollywood played Man, big that Hollywood game. Man, Hollywood doing this thing every week. Hollywood played big. Hollywood yeah. caught two touchdowns. The game winner and when he hit nigga with that yeah. double move. 
walked man. in the end zone. That's Antonio Brown, the cousin. He worked out with Brown in the offseason. He a pit. Just imagine he could really get that Antonio with him. Right, because he between. got the speed that Tony oh, yeah. got. He 98 speed, man. <laughs> Listen, brother. He's serious. Come on, bro. It's like, damn. It's like playing a little dude out your neighborhood. You know, he's just the fastest nigga around here. He just can't be playing touch. It's like, fuck. Like, you know, it's hard to beat this nigga. Thought he was up by 16, bro, in the fourth quarter, bro. They blocked that field goal. They was about to go up by 19. Uh huh. No, I'm lying. The block field goals when it was up by eight. It was going to go up. by 11, make it a two possession game. Jamal already scored or something right quick. That was that was a hell of a game. That so, was his bro, best game ever. I thought I wasn't going to never see nobody better than Vic, though. That's crazy. Because Vic was a generational. All all time, uh, nigga, <laughs> you feel me? Man, what that nigga was checking out like? It's starting to be seen, like you say, yeah, bro. But Vic, Vic had that fucking arm too, though, dog. Vic was just so fast and elusive, bro. Like. It's like he said, you got you chasing it's that like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, he arguably the fastest now, I nigga think, in the league. I think he had more moves and shit than Lamar. But I think hey, Lamar, what? I think Lamar faster than him. Oh, you got a total opposite. He ain't got I, nowhere near moves like Lamar, son. Lamar is doing all this. Vic wasn't doing all that. Vic is out of here. Pew, out of here. Lamar is pew, out of here. Yeah, he got that speed too. But Lamar might shake you right here. He patient. He got that fucking um, right. Le'Veon Bell in him right quick. He a stop. Uh, uh, stop. On the I, I, man, he too. definitely more elusive than Vic. Vic was more, he I'm out of here. Vic could hit you with boom, boom, I'm gone. Lamar might uh, shake the whole uh, team. You know, he might do, yeah. Lamar. Ain't a nigga fuck with Lamar. Look. Devontae said, he said, man, look, I'm looking Freeman? at Lamar shit. Devontae Freeman? No, Adams. Adams. Yeah, boss man. He said, man, I'm looking at Lamar just, you know, get all these yards running, you know, doing this thing. He said, man, I should be able to at least do half of what this nigga be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. As far as when I'm catching the ball after. Because he looking better after the catch this year. Devontae even getting right. better. Right. This nigga, you know. And he made that remark about he was watching Lamar, seeing what the fuck Lamar doing. Because you're a receiver. You feel like you're still probably not faster than Lamar. That nigga that damn special. You know what I'm saying? Devontae know he Lamar. fast. He probably ain't 4'2", full 4'3", full fast, but he 4'4", mm. full, full fast right. or something. You feel fast. Devontae sweet, dog. That nigga run this shit sweet. He don't even look like that nigga be moving like. With his shit, Man, he, he different, like that bro. nigga be moving I knew he was shit. different when I saw Chad Ocho Cinco. You know, he was different with the running and shit. Right. You know, you knew that. The nigga was crying, my nigga. Chad Ochocinco, he was crying like legit tears talking about how this little dude run routes and how he come off the line. And, like, man, this he blew my mind. Like, you know, like nobody coming like that. Kind of saying reminded him of him because he was so different with the – However, he was coming here and like to get touched and woo de woo like you know. Right. This man was crying, talking about like like it just was joy to his fucking heart watching this man. After I saw that, I said, man, let me pay attention to Devontae a little more, man. This Ocho Cinco. Right. You know, he one of the best to do it. Right. Definitely. And sure enough, he been putting up the numbers. He could have won MVP last year. Well, Aaron Rodgers won it last year. Yeah. Devontae could have won it. He had one of the best years as a receiver. He had like a hundred and some catches with a ton of yards, ton of touchdowns. Like he had the touchdowns. But I Steph think he won the offensive player of the year though. Stephen Diggs had the best uh receiving year last year though. Stephen Diggs finished the number one receiver. 
Steph no, Curry. man. Yeah, Stephen. No, Diggs. couldn't have, dog. Uh-huh. I think Devontae went off as a player of the year. Stephen Diggs uh, had the best receiving yard last year. Stephen Diggs cut up. You all remember that? Yeah, I know him and um, Josh Allen cut up, but I don't, he ain't had no better year than Devontae, dog. I think so. Devontae had the most catches. 127 catches. I mean, Stephon Diggs had the most catches. What about the yards? I'm about to see now. Devontae had 115 catches. He had 127. Cash pack. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, you might be right. Yeah, Stephon did had the most yards too. 1,500, boy. I didn't even notice he He went off like that. He was the number one receiver last year. I think, yeah, because I'm not sure. I don't think they played the last game or some shit neither. Like, Devontae and them, I think he kind of chilled out. Right. Like, them last, I may be mistaken, but I think that's what happened. Because he started off on some record-breaking shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Devontae last year. But, but damn, Diggs, Diggs did his fucking thing. That nigga had 127 catches, 1,535 yards, eight touchdowns. Devontae had 18 touchdowns, Thanks. niggas. That's what it was. That's what it was. That nigga had 18 touchdowns, boy. Tyreek had 15. Tyreek had 15? <laughs> you were second with 15. <clears throat> That's Reek. Then Thielen had 14 <clears throat> touchdowns. She you touchdown. Thielen, serious. Thielen, the dog. That's why they can move it around over there with Justin and Thielen, and they got somebody else too. You gotta respect them. Gotta respect them. I got them beating. Um, I think they play Carolina in Carolina. I got Minnesota beating them though. I feel like Minnesota. That's a tough game. But yeah, though you right with stuff on digs. I didn't know that. I'm surprised I wasn't knowing that like that. No Kel said when the oh fuck. George Jefferson. Devontae had 18 touchdowns. That's what it was, dude. That's what he was getting all that attention from. He had them 18 touchdowns. Devontae Adams, dog. He a dog, so I ain't gonna lie. Um, but yeah, man. I got a few. I got a few good games, a few calls. Give our picks and shit. For this NFL, then you could go on your college run right quick. Humble. But um, so yeah, what I'm gonna go to? All right, I already told you my game of the week this week is the Chargers at Baltimore. Baltimore giving them two and a half. I like B more. You like B more? The uh, that's a tough one. That's a. I think that's a twelve o'clock game though. 12 o'clock, yep, Sunday. I think it's a 12 o'clock game. That's damn, that could easily be the night game. Shit, easily be the night game. What is the night game again, though? Cleveland, Arizona. It's a big game. That's my next thing. Do Cleveland give Arizona their first loss? I got Cleveland. I, I like Cleveland. Do every Cleveland week. give Arizona their first loss I like in Cleveland. Cleveland? I like Cleveland every week. It's hard to beat Cleveland every week, too. Yeah. Their two losses was tough. Pat Mahomes and Justin uh, Herbert. And Justin Herbert on some comeback shit, too. Now they got Murray. Murray hard to beat. Yeah. That's going to be a good game. That's the game, boy. That's the – look, when I looked at the schedule, I had that one as a game of the week. And then I had to think about it. I said, hold up now. You got young boy Justin and – Lamar. MVP Lamar, four and one, both done four and one. And the way the Chargers won last week and Baltimore keep winning. We either won a few games on some comeback last minute heroic shit. And you got Buffalo and Tennessee Monday night. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. Tennessee and Buffalo. That's a uh possibly AFC Championship game. AFC Championship game. But Seattle-Pittsburgh would have been a good one. 
That's Russell. the Sunday night game. Russell's gone. Geno Smith. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that's gonna be a close game. Pittsburgh giving the people five and a half right now. Geno Smith not no pushover. He could come win the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pittsburgh D probably gonna come with it. But if that O can't get going, Metcalf and Juju Lockett out. Still out yeah, and Juju out for the season. DK Metcalf, boy, him and Lockett. Lockett a dog. So if Seattle can stop to run that game, hey, Gino going to have a chance. I like Seattle with them points that game. Dallas at New England, too. I like Dallas, man. My, I ain't being I'm fooled. See. They ain't fooling me. Dallas. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say my brain or my my history would make me think, you know, you ain't just really going to New England and right. handling them people. Give a fuck who the quarterback is, you feel me? But Dallas only giving them three and a half. I don't know, bro. I think Dallas the real deal yeah. this year, bro. Me too. I feel like they're the real deal, too bro. Too much talent. This a you know, this should be a tough game. I wouldn't go in there thinking of Dallas just a a ten point better than you know New England in New England team, but I wouldn't be surprised they beat these people by double digits. <laughs> that Dallas at New England. C D Lamb number what Z boy what them people helped it. People got now them. now this is gonna play a pole. The weather looking like partly cloudy, sixty three degrees. That's what that's the prediction right now. I see Dak. I see Dak and them get it done. Green B in Chicago. Justin um Justin Fields. He ain't really show me nothing yet, bro. He got a horrible percentage rate, but he two he two and one as a starter though. Right. You know, gotta give him that. But I see a lot of potential, but fuck, he gotta he gotta show me. He got Aaron Rodgers coming in his building. They getting five and a half. 58 degrees out there in Chicago. Nice, cool, cold game. Good football weather. Cincinnati going to Detroit. I'm just in love with Joe Burrow and them, bro. I mean, as y'all can see, bro. Chase T. Higgins, Taj Boy. I just love that offense, bro. You know, this could be a trap game for Cincinnati, though. You know, they're 3-2. They lost a tough one last week. Maybe that give them a little edge to not play with Detroit. Because Detroit is sneaky. They they 0-5, but I don't feel like they just a 0-5-ass team. You know what I'm saying? They done lost twice off last second field goals. You know, they going to try to inch one out. You know, so Cincinnati going to have to kind of play with it. Detroit getting three and a half in that game. Cincinnati might have a tough one in Detroit this week. You know, I might have to take them three in the hook. If it was three, I like Cincy, but the hook at home with Detroit on five, I probably take Detroit. Even though I love Joe Burrow Chase now, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, that Baltimore Chargers game, twelve o'clock. Yeah, I need to be nice and ready in front but of the team for that bitch. I ain't lying. Rams gonna beat the piss out the Giants. Now, look, that's my pick. My pick. I got the Rams. <laughs> L.A. Rams. <laughs> Daniel Jones, you might want to chill. I know you're thinking about coming back. You had a, you know, concussion. a concussion. You Thought it could have been worse. This week, you yeah. might not want to come back, you know, this week. You see Russell Wilson. You know, I fuck with Russell Wilson. It was just a finger, but Aaron Donald coming, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he is coming. <laughs> He coming, he eating, dog. Uh, Aaron Donald, eating. You know, I know Saquon ain't playing. They, they, got, a, they got a break on that. It looked like his ankle right. was broke from what you saw, right. the footage. But it looked like he probably could come back in a couple of weeks or something, you know. I think it's just a sprain or something. But uh, you don't got him this week. You shouldn't have your quarterback this week. I see Rams. They're giving nine and a half, ten. That line probably going to be. Kansas City, too. Washington ain't gonna be able to keep up, man. Man, I don't know, bro. I think that's a tough game at Kansas City, Washington, bro. In Washington, you know why? Cause that little dude balling. Heineke. Yeah, that boy balling, man. He could 
He a running quarterback who could throw the ball. It, to me, that's always hard to beat them people. If they could make most of the, some good throws, whoever could run. If Jalen Hurts made five more good throws, they probably beat Tampa. It's that simple. It's that simple, though. It be coming down to that. If he thing. had five more better throws, right. I didn't even get to see the same. I was out of town. I'm sh- I'm, look, I've been in and out of town every week, and I really haven't tuned in like CD usually tuned in. You know, I'm a real sports here when it comes to especially Sunday Sunday football season. You know, uh uh-uh. uh. I can really get tuned in now, man. I've been basketballed out with the girls, bro. I'm not sure what we did. I know we had a, a halftime Hail Mary with the Saint with the Saints in Washington. We won by eleven thirty three twenty two, but we had the halftime Hail Mary. That bit was fire. Ended up seeing it, but shit like that determined. You know, this fool's gold is 33 22. You know what I'm saying? Right. Washington really played with them people. You know what I'm saying? And the week before that, Washington beat Atlanta. And he lost to Buffalo just like KC lost to him. Fuck. 21 43. Yeah, fuck Buffalo. Ain't you know? Playing. They beat the Giants 30 19 when they came back that game. Lost to the Chargers by four points. Man, Washington ain't no fucking pushover, nah. I'm well, telling you. the defense. What that boy name is? Chase, Chase Young. Young. He Man. coming. <laughs> he a savage. He coming, Big Ron. <laughs> he looking like the next Miles Gavin. Yeah, he coming. <laughs> For <laughs> sure. He go, boy. For sure. You saw that? I remember they had a, a clip. I want to see. It wasn't a turnover. Somebody checked out. Man, that ball was right there on his ass. It was the running back or something that checked out. We were on the other side. He, he man, ran he him right, down. he ran him now. Delvin Cook, big old nigga. I think that was Delvin Cook. Delvin Cook. I'm still not sold on Casey. Casey probably gonna have some games where they go to click in and woo the woo defense, get a couple turnovers, and it's, it get out of hand. I'm not sure it's gonna happen this week against Washington, though, bro. I'm not sure. The Indiana, Houston. I ain't sure. I feel like Indiana should win it, but I ain't. I ain't cool with it. But yeah, man, my locks for the for Sunday. I got the Rams giving up ten to handle their business against the Giants, and I got Minnesota beating Carolina on the road, man. In Carolina, that's a tough one. They giving up two, right? But I feel like Minnesota is playing better than when they what their record is. And my two is Cleveland and Baltimore. You Both like you two like, good teams at home. Two good teams at home for real. That's two good games too. They Cleveland. playing two good teams too. Two good teams yeah. at home. So we got we got the Rams giving up ten. Minnesota giving up two. Cleveland giving up three and a half to undefeated Arizona team at home. You got Baltimore beating the Chargers. Right. Baltimore giving up two and a half three. That's some good ass game. I like them picks though. See, something I wanted to bring up: the mm. Bama loss. What's going on with Bama? Man, like I say, I've been moving around so much. I still didn't tune in. Like I, I was watching the Bama game, eating on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Right. I wasn't even in tune like that. And when I'm peeking, it looked like Bama was straight. No, I'm lying. Texas A&M was winning most of the game, like all the game, really. And I'm looking back, looking back, Bama coming back, coming back, and I saw it was like a tired game or something, but I really couldn't tell what was going on. I ain't, I wasn't into it like that. I couldn't pay attention how I wanted to. I only saw highlights and shit. But um, I ain't sure what's up with Bama, bro. What you think? Freshman quarterback. You know. Now they know Texas A and was capable That's of beating why I felt people. Like they was vulnerable. Jumbo Fisher, the first coach to come under save and to get a win. So that probably played a part. He no saving. Right, I forgot Jimbo Fisher at Texas A and M. Yeah, man. he come up under save. Got up out of Florida State. Them people yeah, junk is a motherfucking up. Yeah, like four, five yeah. Years now. yeah. Florida State can't get it right at all. Since Jumbo left. Man. People Double. sad as a motherfucker, man. Sad as cheap. I'm but oh, sad. Yeah. On this college level, though, this week, I I'm saw, about to uh, give y'all something. Kentucky college. playing Georgia, huh? 
Both of them undefeated. Kentucky getting like 21, though. I might take Kentucky with them fucking 20 to 21 points. Because that's the ones you underestimate as a better. If you don't really know, no, you know. Oh, George is giving Kentucky 21. Basketball Kentucky school. Kentucky undefeated, though. Both of them undefeated, yeah. And they getting 21. Yeah. To let you know they, they feel George is, is like that. I like Iowa. They're the number two team in the country now. This is probably the best ranking ever in school history. Iowa. Oh, they're going to beat the sleeves on Purdue this week. They give them the 11. They're number two in the country. At home. I like know. that bet. I, look, I looked at that. They're going to throw Iowa down game. the Ames Iowa. At least you got Florida this week, huh? Getting 11 at home. Take it. Everybody think it's all them dudes out. We got recruits. We play Florida this week at home? At home. That's a night game, man. Getting huh? 11. No. That's a uh, 11 o'clock in the morning game. Damn. Take LSU with the 11 at home. Bama coming off a loss. What they they giving Mississippi State 17. Blowout. Blowout. <laughs> coming off a loss. Blowout. <laughs> They give a Mississippi State 17 that just came off a loss. It's going to be that first quarter. Boy, they just ran 20 miles. <laughs> 17 nothing first quarter. Bama. Nick Saban cursed them out like yeah, a dog. You know, you know, I know they gone. Bama could lose one of them. Right. They could lose two from history. Fuck, they could lose two and still get in there. Man, the, the total in this old Miss game is 83. I like it over. Them in Tennessee. You gonna put that motherfucker that high? I'm on. I like the old. <laughs> that means they gonna score 100 points. 50, 50, 55, something. They gonna score 100 points? For sure. Yeah, bro. I like Alabama, though, and Iowa. That's the two that stand out to me. Alabama and Iowa. Alabama, Iowa. Alabama giving 17. Bama giving 17. You heard me, Black? Well, hey, where they play? They at Mississippi State. Oh. Coming off a loss, that's a lot. You want to feel more better? Drop it to 13. They're going to beat the piss off Mississippi State, bro. See the uh, Oklahoma at bench, the uh, Spencer, Spencer Rattler, Rattler. Huh? But they ain't say he not the starter. They just going to pull off like uh, Chris Leak and Tim Tebow. They won the championship doing that. That freshman quarterback that good, he like the Tim Tebow. I saw him running a rock. Yeah, so he gonna come in. Oklahoma about to take off. Now I like Oklahoma. They play they play uh Oklahoma State. No, Texas no, Texas, Texas play Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Texas the fair in that game at home. Uh-huh. Oklahoma play TCU, give it 13. At home. I like them. Mm-hmm. Them people was down by 24 points and came back and beat Texas. They offensive dude got a scheme. Brawley. They coach. Yeah, but the Oklahoma, Alabama, shit, and Iowa. But Alabama and Iowa. I'm giving you a parlay right there. Alabama and Iowa. Putting everything on Bama. <laughs> Just Bama. Young Nestor say he got everything on Bama. Mm. Man, I want to get to a little NBA, bro. We about to be damn near season starting. We got, we got Kyrie, bro. They done told Kyrie he can't even. Uh, Brooklyn said he can't even practice a play until he get vaccinated, bro. That's cool, bro. You know, you know we got we got mixed, mixed reviews out here. I ain't feeling that. Fuck all that. I ain't feeling that, bro, because... You know, that's that man's choice at the end of the day. We supposed to be saying, well, Kyrie can't play right now, bro. The, the, you know, the league will be right there when it's ready. That's cool. Bro. I mean, it is what it is, but when you just hear people blaming a man or, you know, calling them names and all that because he chose to not get vaccinated. Yeah. That's just when I think that's he's just wrong, out of bro. line. But you know, if 
if they're making it a rule where you got to be vaccinated to play this game, hey, that's just a rule. Fuck, you don't own this company. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's who you work for. I mean, you get paid a lot of money, but fuck, you work for these people. For not wanting to do this, though. Ain't no, I mean, I don't think it's no faults, you know. Your choice to not do it, I mean, it's a, it's an emergency type of thing you got to do to even play this game now. Right. You can not do it and they can not pay you. Or you could do it and you could come play. So it's his choice. I mean, it's no good or bad thing about it, you know, I don't think. a lot of backlash, like, you know, old boy on the show in the morning bashed him. I don't want to say no name. Start no conflict or nothing, but. Nah, fuck all that. We can say their name. All right, but well, Stephen A. Fuck. Bash the man. Stephen A. be looking out. He he, he come back at noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A. Stephen A. Get this nigga. Stephen A. Bash the man, bro. That man get to do whatever he want. You know. <coughs> It's like, you know, Steve and needed me with just... the first thing Kyrie said on the video, y'all playing with my name. He said that. If you watch the video, that man said that out of my mouth. All y'all out here playing with my name. I got on here to clear that. He said, yeah, that exact line. Y'all playing with my name. <laughs> I ain't listen to the whole thing. I just I saw a little something when he was saying, um, you know, I don't want to... I'm not retiring. I don't want to stop my career just because of the vaccine or woo de woo. So, right. you know, just take it from that. I don't know because when I did hit a Stephen A. shit, how they was talking, I think somebody mentioned, I think Jason Williams mentioned, like, man, the man ain't even say nothing. Like, he ain't say nothing yet. Mm-hmm. And you, we are, you know, you up here calling him this, calling him that just because the, you know, just because they're saying he hasn't got vaccinated and this is what's going on. How is he wrong? How is he, you know, the man ain't say nothing. You know, he ain't even say nothing. He didn't even We just know the man ain't get vaccinated. So they putting in this rule where he's in a state where you're supposed to be vaccinated in the arena or whatnot. So instead of playing half the games or no home games or nothing, you just chill until you're ready. You know, until you get it done or something else come about. I'm going to say I'm going to continue to work out, train. And I'll be ready for whenever I can return, like, you know. I just hope he don't end up Barry Sanders of basketball. Lead a game with so much left in the tank, you know what I'm saying? I just hope that don't happen with Kyrie. Yeah, got a similarity. He got him a ring, though, but it's definitely similar to Barry. Cause fuck, he been in the league, I think, what, 11 years, 10, 11 years? Yeah. So, it's, you know, Barry was 10 years, I think. Yeah, it's like Barry is like Steph walking away from the game right now. That's Barry Sanders. Mm-hmm. If Steph quit right now. Yep. You heard that's it. A, that's our big nigga. That's was, Barry Sanders. Nigga was hurt when Barry retired, boy. Like what? Like, huh? That's the crazy thing. Man. Like, you know how Steph changed the game as far as these coaches allowing his green light to get as green as it could get, you know, and like, fuck it, all right, shoot from way back there. Steph kind of made that way more possible. Probably. Yeah. People doing it. Nigga, Barry was so good, coaches still, it's like it's a myth. Like, right. you can't, you can't, you, you're not, you can't do what Barry Sanders do. doing, nigga. Follow your blocker, Follow you know, woo de woo de woo. You know what I'm saying? I played park ball right <laughs> after that you Barry to be shit. Barry, huh? Man, you ain't no way you could be Barry, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's no more. It's, it's one and one. It's no Barry Sanders. <laughs> ain't no change in the game. You know what I'm saying? No. Right. The game changed for Steph. Barry was so good. We know you couldn't do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no. Barry was. Barry was, some, Barry was the fucking MJ. Some Allen Iverson shit, like, in a game. He may have not been the best ever as far as I think what you could do, ever. like, you know, as far as, you know, the uh, Walter Paytons and the Jim Browns and 
Woody Woo, but as far as like talent, he's the best ever, brother. Barry Sanders? Yeah, him, him or Adrian Peterson. That's who I put. The best two running backs I ever seen with my nah, own We ever eyes. seen like on our no, era type shit? I can't shit. go back to Eric Dickerson them. I ain't see them. The best two running backs I seen since I've been living is Adrian Peterson and Barry Sanders. Hey, you might be right on that one, buddy. Yeah, that's the Barry best two. Barry and AP. Barry and AP. Who was better? In the last 25 years, I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. Man, come on. Maybe Marshall was in that conversation, but maybe. Right. I don't know. I don't think you'll put Marshall and Barry that close, though. Barry was that special. Marshall catch the ball and shit, but Adrian Barry was that Peterson special. Peterson just came like yeah, <laughs> the yeah. best thing you ever seen, period. Yeah. But Adrian <laughs> Peterson, though. Man. Yeah. Huh? He yeah, I he mean, probably gave it up a little he more. He probably than gave it up a little, but see, the man rushed for two thousand yards five months, five six months after ACL. He wasn't even one hundred percent that year. They had one game. Yeah, it was that, like ten months. They had before. one game that nigga ankle was that nigga knee was like so or something. That nigga had a little lip to him. Damn, they had 300 yards rushing <laughs> that game. <laughs> he ain't fumble like that. Like that, brother. That's Let's crazy. See. AP, bro. That was I never ball. seen a running back yet that got the power in between the tackles with the juke, but with the speed, too. Like, I ne- he's the most complete. All right. You know who could it? Like Leonard. To me, possible. he like LeBron. He like he like a LeBron type nigga. On the football yeah. level though. Yeah. Adrian Peterson. Adrian, Adrian Adrian Peterson could do everything you want a running back to do at the highest level of it. Yeah. Derrick Henry like that, but he just he not as, as loose as uh, he loose. Yeah, he ain't gonna shake you or you know. The he difference ain't gonna... is Derrick Henry full five. Which is cool. Yeah. 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 This nigga, 4 that, 3. Track but, speed. But, but, yeah. But when Derrick Henry in the open, you see him stretch out. Like, Adrian Peterson used yeah, to. But, <laughs> yeah, but AP doing that too, though. Probably just a little bit better than that, dude, yeah. too. In between but the Henry, tackles, he's going to track. Henry coming for AP in them records, boy. Yeah. I can't take nothing from Henry, though. I ain't lying. I can't shit on him, boy. Henry, though. <laughs> He just had, but he got five hundred and some yards rushing, dog, right now. Oh, you know, he he, he damn near seven hundred now. He had hundred and thirty this week, three touchdowns. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He had like six forty right now. You know. Yeah, he yeah. had five ten last and week. Nick, your boy did his thing, Nick Chubb. He cut up. I ain't lying, Nick Chubb cut up this week. He did some shit straight out the gate, yes. toting that bitch. Dude broke that bitch. Yeah, like a hundred and sixty yards rushing, Nick Chubb. Man, ain't no comparison with the best. And, like, you know, I, I just think Chubb, brother. I feel you if you go with him. I can't. I don't even be want to sit up there and do the best, man. They, you know, they both doing it. Man. This, this, this how I put this one. This is a good comparison right here. Who was the best out of Shaq and Kobe when they was winning? Shaq. Ain't no doubt in that. It's Shaq. Derrick Henry Shaq. Nick Chubb Kobe. But who the fuck don't want to be Kobe? You know what I'm saying? That nigga Kobe. <laughs> but Shaq just dominant. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it don't look as fire as Kobe shit sometimes. But it can. Right. Shaq shit still can look fire too. I think that's the, the best the best way to describe them too. Because I, I think they clearly the best backs right now. You know what I'm saying? They got... You know, they got the Christian McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara and shit, but they more scattish backs, yeah. you know. These they, traditional these, backs. Yeah, these tra- traditional running backs who could <laughs> tote it. Not gonna lie, they both can, Alvin Kamara and them just do shit so much well, the receiving part of it, it fucks them up in that conversation because they really could still tote this bitch if you wanted them to. True. Christian McCaffrey and Alvin Kamara, but, you know, 
I, I guess Zeke's still around. Zeke, Zeke like I'm that. I'm always say Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook like that. I'm always say Dalvin. I fuck with Dalvin. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, bro, Kyrie, bro, that, that's gonna be crazy though, man. But I still even with Harden. And, that's crazy because that fucking team probably gonna end up breaking up. Cause I think Harden gonna be a free agent. Harden gonna try free agency. He just said that like, fuck, I ain't never been a free agent. I might like, see I what that shit's talking about. about. Um, I was hearing something like Doc want Harden, Philly. It just think about it. Harden, Harden hit the free agency, right? Right. Come on, man. They gonna throw the books at him, man. L. A. Come play with LeBron last two years, I heard dog. They, they want him to go play with them. Feel it. Yeah. Whatever is somebody, they're going to be trying to get hard. Everybody can go. Except for Boston. You can go. Yeah. You can go. Not yeah. Tatum, though. Not Tatum. Brown. Brown, you can go. We got hard. Brown, cold. Yeah, Brown, me. cold. Brown, fucking ice water. Brown, cold. I'll take him over here at the Pelicans. Who? Brown. Oh, yeah, I'll take him in the D. Yeah. Shit, chat. Come on down. <laughs> I fuck with Brown. Hard in the LA. They'll make it work. They can't pull that off. They'll make it work. I guarantee everybody out of here. <laughs> Harden from LA. Right. They out of here. We got LeBron going to be retiring here. Like, it going to get a ball to you, Harden. Go to G State. It's crazy. I could, it's him, crazy. Him, him Clay, and, and him and Curry. Yeah, and Clay. Cause I still think Clay, you know. Yeah, you know, I just gotta see Clay do his thing. That's all. Yeah, you know, I, I you still know. think Clay ready. But Harden and Curry, that's tough. You know, who say Harden and Lillard don't end up in LA, or Lillard don't end up with Curry? In Oakland. Right. Where he from. Right. <laughs> it's going to be some shit hard hit. That was a good thing because, you know, everybody don't really be hitting free agency like that. You know, people take I their extensions and go. I Riley going that hard too. Yeah, of course, Miami is <laughs> a destination for sure. <laughs> what? Hard and, 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 and Jimmy Butler. And Bam. And Bam. And everybody else could go. Everybody else could go. Yeah. yeah Harden. Yeah. And you got Bam. With this new big man shit, and you got Jimmy Butler. I ain't lying. That may be the. It's gonna be hard to beat that. Harden, Jimmy Butler, and Bam. Harden and Jimmy Butler is, is what you need. Right. And Bam getting better and better. Just think about Harden and Jimmy Butler on the same team. Nobody can really check none of y'all, but you know Harden could get you 50. Right. He don't gotta do that, dude. He can be the best point in the league, you know what I'm saying? With Jimmy eating and Bam eating, and defense wise, Jimmy Butler gonna be the he gonna be the you know he could be the Kobe Bryant of the right. team, you know? Fuck, I got the best perimeter, and I could give you 30, 40, whatever you need me to do. That'll be tough. That'll be more tougher to me than Harden and Curry, because Harden and Curry really just gonna outscore you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't. But Jimmy Butler and Harden, it gets a half court game. You ain't gonna do this shit like in Houston where we jacked up a million threes. Jimmy Butler about to post up a nigga. Harden about to get with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a it's a, a more even game. The Bulls, dog. Oh, the Bulls, the Bulls gonna be nice, man. They 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 coming at people top in that East. Bulls gonna they be nice. They can play with anybody in the East. They can play with them. Bulls gonna be nice, dog. Take them seven games. Bulls gonna be nice. Bulls could win the East. They could win the East. I'm gonna say that right now. Bulls can win the East, for sure. They can win the East. I'm talking about Brooklyn, all them, Boston, all them. As far as having a number one seed, I know these people are gonna be hard to beat night in, night out, bro. With all that guard play, <laughs> with your boy at center, they just good all around the board. Lazo boy, they got defense, they got scoring. It's gonna be hard to beat them people, dog. Karuzma, 
Zach Levine, Lee. DeMar DeRozan. Defense. Come on, man. They said DeMar DeRozan got the best mid-range game in the league, so yeah. that's what everybody be repping on. He unstoppable in the mid-range. Yeah, he got Kobe, man. You know? <laughs> that's Kobe prodigy, niggas who studying Kobe. Mid-range. Mid-range. You know too. what I'm saying? He's 6'8 or something. Shooting over niggas, you got checking him. I fuck with DeMar DeRozan. That's a whole veteran right there. Zach Levine is becoming a superstar. Right. right. You got all this talent around you. Zach Levine, he may not have to average 30, but fuck. He could go average 30 if he want. Zach Levine. With some like one-on-one -on -one action. He like, like that. He a scorer. Yes, indeed. He could shoot this bitch, yeah. get to the rack, dunk on niggas. He like that. With lines of ball, Jason Kidd type. He gonna excel. Watch this shit. Watch what Lonzo Ball do. We running late with it. We running late with it. This is a wrap up. We are gonna let y'all next week. Smoke on sports, sports, man. We gonna put them pics up on the page, man. Follow the Instagram. Oh man. yeah, lot. Smoking post. Smoking sports podcast. Certified like Bama. You feel me? <laughs> Certified like Bama. Bama. We, you know, he was going against Bama all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I ain't going against him coming off a loss. Uh -huh. Certified lot. We're going to be covering that at halftime. Yeah, all on time. Feel me? <laughs>